it. Welcome back to my channel. It's Cerise here and for today's video I have a real vs fake video. So I have the Natasha Denona Lila palette. Lila palette? Lila palette? I have the real one and I also have the fake one. So I'm going to be comparing these two today and their different price points to see if it is worth getting the fake over the real or if you should just stick with the real one. So uh, let's get to it. So the Natasha Denona palette retails for 129 US dollars, which is like 270 New Zealand dollars. Whereas the fake one, I think it's like 10 or 20 US dollars for the fake one. So I'm excited to see the difference. Already you can see the difference is huge in price at least. But packaging wise, there's actually a different slip cover. This is the slip cover of the real one, the purple one here. And the fake one is a white slip cover. So legit exactly the same information that is on the front and back it's just been compacted down for size and there but they've actually done it a whole different color which is just really strange because wouldn't you go for the original color and kind of make it look super similar so they already look kind of really not the same but so these are the palettes here this is the real one on this side and this is the fake one here so let's unbox the real one now it is extremely stunning it is so beautiful like it is so so gorgeous that is it there if we open her up ta -da -da, there is the mirror there and all of the colors there so you can see what she looks like like that so i'll just close her and then we have the fake one here so let's pull her out oh and it kind of does look the same like if you look at them like that so yeah this one doesn't have a metallic finish but this one does and looks kind of nicer on the eye so that's the difference with the fake there if you open it up so just looking at it like this the difference is definitely color um the slip cover of this is more bent in but i think it's because i've bent it but it does have all of the same shade names so if you do notice with this writing here it is more fatter and bolder whereas this one is more thinner and smaller with just the small things like that. The real one is much larger than the smaller one here. And if you notice with the smaller one, the magnets kind of stick out a wee bit. But the magnets are pretty much placed in the same area as this one. Um, it does magnet close just like how the real one does, which I think is really cool that it does have that magnet effect. And that is the side profiles of them there. The back, there's no sticker. This has the authentication sticker on it. The real one there so i think what we've got to do is swatch a few of these and see what they're like because i'm going to do an eye with the same ones comparing the colors and everything but i think what i'll do is just stick my arm here this is shade helio on the real side there and then on the fake side here now just judging by the like the actual swatches of that I feel like the Natasha Denona real one is super, super creamy. This fake one is kind of not so pigmented and creamy, but it's definitely like, it feels like an okay shadow. Um, next we're gonna go with Dragon Bite. So let's go with the real one here. That's a stunning color, that's so pretty. And then we'll go Dragon Bite in the fake. So the fake one, that one is super chalky and crumbly there, if you can see. It is definitely a nice color, but definitely not the same as this. All right, and then we have shade Purpure. Purpure. And then on this one, we can see the difference there. So it's definitely a more ready color in tones if you see that it's not really the same at all. And then we have shade Livid, which kind of seems like the most similar shade there and then we have shade juno which is a nice pink on that one yeah it's pretty much the same finish on that one then we have shade nude mauve which is a nice nude color also kind of a nude on this side oh that's not really swatching that well then we have shade Magnolia, which looks stunning. Oh my god, I love that. Right, this is shade Magnolia on this side. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. Not that mad at that one. Then we have shade Magentic. Stunning. Love that. Magentic on this side looks like it's a pretty same, yeah, pretty sameish color. Then we have shade Amethyst. 
and shade Amethyst on this side, which is actually the only kind of purple shade in this palette, which is meant to be like a purpley shade. It's quite nice. And then we have shade Layla, which is this brown shade, kind of dark, kind of goldy shade there. Kind of looks the same as this one, actually. They've kind of spot on nailed that one nearly, just not pigment wise. Then we have shade Nude Vino, which is really nice. This one, I quite like this one, this shade better if it's swatched better. But I like, I prefer that one. That one's actually like super pretty. And then we have shade Cyclone here, which is gorgeous. That is so freaking beautiful, that there. And then we've got shade Cyclone over here, which that one is actually really gorgeous as well. I actually quite like that as well. All right, and then we have shade Amara, which is a really nice brown on this side. I'm like, yes. And then shade Amara over here, which is kind of a corally color. Just isn't swatching that great. <laughs> and then we have a shade of Voila. So we'll put her there. Let's get Voila over here. Which isn't that bad. And then last shade is Per Se. So let's put you there. Nice grey. And then Per Se on this side. Ugh! It's like not going on. So that is the shades there in comparison with the real versus fake, I guess. Um, you can definitely tell some of them are the same. A lot of them are not even close remotely. It's very bizarre. There's probably, what, if we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven shades that are remotely the same. It's just so strange. With this fake one here, it is very, very chalky and very hard to get the colours, but the pigment payoff isn't that bad on my arm. You've got to remember that, um, of course, the Natasha Denona, flawless, but you've just got to think, like, with finger swatches, it's different how it performs on the eyes than when it does perform on the swatches there. So it's all well and good to be like, oh, this swatch is real shit. It could be really amazing on the eyes. The Natasha Denona is amazing swatch, though. It is stunning. Like, it's just so pretty. Like, ooh, look at that. But yeah, those are the two there compared this wise. And I guess now we've just got to get an eye look in there. I'm like, what would even be a nice eye look now? Like, the swatch is not that bad with both of them. So I'm kind of really excited to try them on the eye. I think for this one, I'm just going to do the entire eye with N the Natasha Denona. And then kind of see. Or maybe... Okay, so I'm going to have to go step by step and see what it's gonna go. So I have the real one here and then I've got the fake one on my lap here. So I'm gonna use my fake one as a mirror and then the real one is going to stay here. So I think I'm going to get the blendy shade of, let's go with shade Nude Morph. I'm just gonna get the real one on this eye here. This. That's actually really nice on the eye. I don't know what eye look I'm doing but I'm, I'm ready for it. I'm ready. Alright. So that's the real done. And then we're going to get the fake. So the fake one is definitely more, like, less pigmented, so it is harder to work with. But it's not, it's not doing that bad. It's getting some pigment on there. So that is it on there. Then I think for lead colour... Then I think for lid colour I'm going to go for shade of Voila and go on this eye. This is the real one. Real full outy. And that is Voila on that eye. And then Voila from the fake one is this shade here. So 
definitely a bit more pink, but it's still gone on there quite nicely. Still gone on there quite nicely. All right, so now I'm going to get shade. What shade do I want? I'm trying to find the right brush for this. I'm going to get shade Magnolia. And I'm just going to smash that in my inner corner here because it's just such a pretty color. Let's get shade Magnolia and then shade Magnolia in the fake. It's very, very powdery. Alrighty, then for under my eye, I'm going to get... Now for under my eye, I'm going to get shade, let's go for shade Livid. I'm going to go under my eye here. There's a very sparkly purple under there. Now I'm going to get shade Livid on this side. So yes, I am trying to do the colors that are closely related to each other. to show the product off as best I could. <clears throat> so that is a little bit under there. Then I think I'm going to put on my lid, what is the best purpley shimmery color? I've already used shade Voila. I think I'm gonna use shade Cyclone. I'm gonna use shade, oh no actually, I'm gonna go for shade the Dragon Bite and I'm gonna use my finger and I'm gonna actually put it on the center of my lid. I really like that. Like that green kind of shift is just so pretty. All right, and let's get Dragon Bite on this one, which is a brown kind of muddy, shifty kind of look. Oh God, this is... See, I feel like I was doing okay till I decided to put this freaking mud shade on. That's not doing anything. What the frick? Oh my God. All right, so now I'm gonna smoke it out. This is the last step I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna smoke it out with the darkest shade. This is shade Layla. And just hopefully it doesn't look bad. So that is shade Layla on there. And then I'm just gonna get a different brush and I'm going to get shade Lay shade Layla in the fake. Give that a go on this one. It's not sticking to me. Ah. Now you try a different brush and see if that helps. So that is the final eye look I'm going to go for there. Um, as you can see, fallout wise, definitely the fake is a lot more fallout than it does with the real one. Um, also the real one, the colors are really hard to blend together. If you see with the Natasha Denona, the colors are blending flawlessly, but the fake one is really struggling to blend together. I think for color wise, the eyes don't look that different if I hadn't have used this darker color, but I'm interested to see if this fallout actually comes off my face. But I think what I'm going to do now is put on mascara and eyeliner and then get off this fallout and be right back. So that is the final eye look there. And then I paired it with some lipstick, some purple, since we're going for purpley eyes. I couldn't actually get the fallout off from under there. It didn't really work. I just have this big giant bruise under my eye. And under there, the fallout went away nicely. Um, although this fake, this, this is the fake eye here. This is the real eye. Even though the fake eye, the colors don't match up to the real, it still isn't that bad. Like, the... I guess, I guess for the price point, I wouldn't pay that for it. You can definitely get cheaper palettes that are around, like, you can definitely get cheaper palettes than that, that are around, like, the way better quality, but it's definitely not, like, bad. Like, I wouldn't get it and be like, oh, this is really, really shit. In comparison to Natasha Denona, yes, it is really shit, 
but like just like that it's not that bad the fallout could have been stopped with some like setting powder or something but yeah I definitely think if you were <laughs> wanting to get the Leela palette and thinking about getting the fake don't sleep on it get the real one it does not compare in any way at all like the fake is got nothing on this real one here like honestly but like how good is the Natasha Denona really really good I really really liked it um but I can't get over this freaking fallout under here this would really piss me off but yeah even just looking in it and seeing the amount of fallout that's in there there's not that much in the real compared to the fake here you can see all of the pans are very like bad but also this is much heavier than this one as well. This is more kind of flimsy as well. I didn't notice that as well before. Um, as for smell wise, because it's another test I haven't done. Natasha Denona has no smell and the fake has a faint smell, but it's not a hugely offensive smell or anything like that. So yeah, that is my comparison of the Natasha Denona Leela palettes. Uh, yeah, there is really no comparison Natasha Denona the real one all the way. Um, would I spend this, because this is actually, I borrowed this one from Tanya. Um, would I actually spend this much on the palette? No, but it's not my jam, it's her jam. If it was like a nude palette, yes, I probably would. But um, yeah, I wouldn't buy the fake one either. Like, the fake one is not good. But this one is definitely better quality shadows. If you like the color story, I do think it's definitely worth it. But yeah, the fake one, no, nope. bye. She's cancelled. Good night. So yes, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And subscribe up to this. And I've just realised that you can see my literal back hanging out. Disgusting. So <laughs> hopefully it didn't distract you too much. But until next time, I love you guys so much. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Alright. Here's hoping. Oh, it's not that bad. Kind of got like a purpley sheen underneath the bags. Oh no. Ah. It's full out on my freaking nose.